What's up guys, Omega here and welcome back to GT7 for a new time trial challenge that's just been released. This one bringing us to Daytona Road Course in the Honda NSX 2017 model. The current world record at the time of recording is a 1 minute 50.129 and for gold at the moment you need to get a time of 153.432 or better. Although I'd say aiming somewhere in the 152s, preferably mid to low 152s is probably ideally where you want to be to make sure you're guaranteed the gold medal and the 2 million credits. If you get any value out of today's video, let me know by dropping a like on it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content and let's get into it. So this was my first decent lap. I managed a 151.626, but out of curiosity, I went and had a look at the fastest times in the world and quickly realized that they were doing something that I don't normally do, which is using an assist. And you can see here, they're using counter steer assist. So I thought, hey, why not? I'll give it a go. And with this combination of car and tires on this track, I definitely found it a massive help, particularly under braking, because when you first enter this, do be prepared for a lot of this to happen, which is extremely frustrating frustrating until you get used to how the car handles. So I went ahead and I changed the assist. I put the counter steer assist on strong and ended up getting this lap, which was a 151.237. So now I'm gonna walk you through and hopefully give you some idea of how to go a bit quicker. So coming over the start finish line, you wanna to be to the right hand side of the track, point the nose of the car in towards the corner before you start to brake heavily because you wanna be braking in a straight line as much as possible. Breaking somewhere between this last sign on the left hand side with a number on it and where the grass turns to this black stuff. About halfway between those two points, braking hard, shifting all the way down to second gear as you swing the car around the corner, back up to third and on the power 100%. Taking some of the right hand curb here, then taking some of the left hand curb, getting the car over to the left hand side of the track as much as possible. And just before this last sign on your right hand side with the number one on it goes off your screen is where you want to be braking again shifting all the way down to second gear rotate the car in back up to third gear and on the power utilizing the full width of the track on the exit of the corner now as we approach this little left hand kink in the track get the car back over to the right hand side and swing the car in taking some of this curb on the left I don't know if you can take this flat out, but I found that lifting for a second is ideal for me. Being back on the power and getting ready for this next right-hander. We're looking for the end of the yellow curb on the right-hand side for our braking point. Getting the car over to the left-hand side of the track, shifting down to second gear again for the rotation, back up to third and on the power fully for the exit of the corner. With counter steer assist on, as long as your car's sort of pointing in the right direction, you can get on the power really nice and early as opposed to without it. So do take advantage of that as much as possible. Now, as we approach this next left-hander, you wanna be braking just as this curb on the right-hand side goes off your screen. Again, shifting down to second, meeting the apex on the inside if you can, back up to third gear and on the power for the exit of the corner. Now, this is just flat out up to the bus stop here. I think you want to try and keep it tight to this line as much as possible until the track flattens out and then you can let the car float over to the right hand side of the track. The braking point for the bus stop I found is somewhere in between the two and the three signs on the right hand side here, sort of just before you hit the two. On the brakes fully, trying to brake in a straight line as much as possible, down to fourth gear, swinging the car in and taking quite a bit of this first apex. This will open up the rest of the corner for you so you can get a good exit. And you'll see here, I stabbed the brakes a couple of times just before I hit the second apex to try to get the car to rotate a little bit better. And then between the second and third apex or the middle of the bus stop, you wanna be back on the power 100%, taking a little bit of this curb on the right-hand side and then a little bit of the curb on the left-hand side. Being careful not to get a penalty on the exit there. I think you can take a little bit more than I did, but I was just being extra cautious because I knew that this was a good lap. And then you just wanna be flat out all the way to the line and hopefully get a really good time. So what I'll do now is I'll play that back in full speed so you can see it in real time, and I'll catch you at the end of the video.
there you have it guys, I hope you found it useful. If you did, let me know in the comments. And also let me know if you needed to use counter steer assist or not, and if it helped you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.